Hey guys, it's Shadow Knight Paladin, and welcome back to my channel. Today is another traditional speed paint, and we are doing a fan art of Persona 3. Um, this could be either of the games, the movies, and whichever else. So we are drawing male MC, also known as Minato Arisato, also known as Makoto Yuki in the movies. And speaking of the movies, I recently watched Winter of Rebirth, which is the fourth movie. And uh, it was uh, it was released August 3, 2016, so I was able to watch it with subtitles. I won't say where. And I have a lot of feelings, painful feelings, that were closed up a few years ago when I finished Persona 3 Portable. But now they open again, and I have to remember everything about Yonato and Ryoji, and I needed to draw it out. I don't know, I just really wanted to draw something for Persona, to be honest. I also wanted to test out these new supplies that I recently bought. So what I'm using here is the brush pen. It's by Soda Pigma Micron, whichever order you say that. And I'm sure you guys are familiar with it if you've watched a lot of art YouTubers. And I recently got the brush pen in this little pack that I bought. And I've only actually used the fine liner with the 04 tip. And I wanted to see how it works, how it's different. And I've only actually used fine liners and actual paint to line my drawing. So it was a bit of ex a new experience for me. The things that I'm using to color is the Faber Castell Classic Colors 48 set. So the really cheap ones, the one that kids use. And I don't actually use them a lot. I've only started using them very very recently as in like two to three months ago. That's because my main medium is actually the wet medium so it's watercolor, uh, acrylics, paint, uh, oil paints. But I've watched a lot of art youtubers here that just use these. Not I've seen a lot of people who use polychromos and prismacolors but I've seen a lot of artists that use just these classic colors and they just make amazing works and they really get to layer all the colors over and that was my problem i couldn't layer the colors and it would just scratch the paper and just completely ruin everything it ruined a page in my mole skin because it just scratched and i learned eventually that you just need to rub it with the cotton bud and i learned that you just need to rub it with that just to remove the shine and the wax from the pencils and it would make it somehow a bit more workable and it did really work for me i've done like three to four drawings already of just character portraits and I was able to layer so many more colors than I was able to with just by itself. It's a bit more painful to the wrist because you have to rub it in. It's worth it. I mean it really does help with blending and layering. Of course it won't beat the polychromos which is oil based but it certainly is something. I've also learned that some YouTubers use baby oil to kind of act as the blender so i guess it kind of melts the lead a bit or whatever you call it but i don't do that because i kind of like the streaky soft pencil um feel to it but it really did change my perspective on these colored pencils i've always wondered how people made such layered and thick looking color i mean artworks with colored pencils that are just like the basic ones like these and you just needed cotton apparently. So I guess I'll be doing more drawings eventually just using colored pencils. Even though I find using paint still a lot faster and a lot easier. I felt like my wrist kinda hurt a bit after finishing this. But it was certainly... It made me not hate colored pencils anymore. I mean, I really hated them before because they just tore up the paper no matter how much sharpening I did. And even even the same for watercolor pencils. Like I found the favorite cast of watercolor pencils to just kind of not really lay down on the paper. I've yet to find a technique. It, it might just be cotton again, but I haven't tried it out. So what I'm doing with this Gatakan uniform is 
I'm laying it to the base of black very lightly and the second layer is a deep violet and I layer to the third layer of black again this is so that there's a nice sheen and a nice purple under or violet there's a nice violet undertone to it that it isn't just boring matte black and it gives a bit more dimension to his clothing after that which you don't see anymore because I cut it out uh, I actually do rub the surface with cotton buds this so that I can if ever if I need to I can just come back to it and revert a little bit more black into it if ever or a little bit more violet whichever I need and this actually makes the process a lot easier since I don't need to worry about the color not laying down or not layering over each other <laughs> I've actually had these colored pencils since high school and I've already graduated college or university so uh, this compute how long it's been and they're still pretty long as you can see it's because I just really didn't know how to use them and the papers kept on giving up before I could get anywhere in the past I actually just realized that I forgot to draw his C's armband. Uh, whoops. I forgot. <laughs> I think I've drawn Minato or Makoto. I've drawn him so many times, like, this is the third piece already of him. And in the last two pieces, I did draw his C's armband, but for some reason, I forgot for this one. Me, one of these days, I would draw Yuna Dakami and uh, Seta Soji, and a maybe even Hamuko, which is the female counterpart for Portable. I did play Portable, but I played as Minato. <laughs> for the background, I used oil pastels from Pentel. Again, I've had these since high school. I didn't really enjoy the crusty layer it left on my fingers. I barely use them, except for the blue. I like blue, so I use that a lot. And I'm using Gansol, which is a odorless mineral spirit that is used as substitute for linseed oil. It's not as smooth as linseed oil, but it's odorless. There's no... Unless you drink it, you're not really gonna get um, toxic. You're not really gonna get poison from it. Just don't drink it, guys. But it really makes the oil pastels uh, really soft. It almost melts it a little bit, so it becomes a bit like paint, and you can you can just use a brush. And your brush is actually safe if you rinse it with gamsol again and wipe it on some paper. Your brush is gonna be clean. I've tried it with my watercolor brushes, and it it still stayed as soft as it was when I before I used it for the oil pastels. But Gamso is a bit expensive, and I only could find it in one size of tin can, so uh, you might wanna try to find some other alternative to it. Because this is what our professor told us to buy, so uh, it is the only thing we knew about, so I had to, I went and bought since I wanted the supply for myself. It's a bit expensive, I forgot how much. It's, uh, it's more than 500 pesos to be sure. I'm sure it's that. So we're nearing the end of the video. 
I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please like, subscribe even. And I do a lot of fan art and character designing videos. So just stay tuned in for that. Follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, and DeviantArt. The content for each of the three varies a, bit, a little bit. Like I post work in progresses in my Instagram mostly. So take your pick. And see you around.